Our devotion on the epistle this week is from Acts chapter 2. This is the Pentecost story that is the focus of Pentecost Sunday. And I'm always entertained uh, when it comes to this Sunday and we have the reading that uh, whoever it is that has to do the reading, maybe you were just reading through this passage yourself, all of those crazy names, uh, Phrygia, Pamphylia, Cappadocia, all of these weird names, it's always very hard to pronounce them. And we see in this reading that people from all of those different regions were hearing the gospel preached in their language. So when I hear this passage from Acts 2, it always reminds me how big the world is and how big God's mission for us is in this world, that we're called to share the gospel with all people. In Acts chapter 1, it talks about in Jerusalem, in Judea, and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. It helps us remember that English isn't the only language in the world and that the church exists in many times and in many places among many peoples with many languages and many cultures. And I think that's really cool. Not only that, but we are Christians today because of this very work. Christianity wasn't originally proclaimed in English. So we have become Christians by the spread of the gospel throughout the world, that we too might know Jesus and be part of his kingdom. So as you think about that Acts 2 reading, we give thanks to God that we can hear the gospel in English and that we can also share the gospel in many places, in many times, among many peoples and many cultures, that God's kingdom would grow in this world, even as we wait for him to return. It's by the power of the Holy Spirit that he does this, and that spirit fills you and me as we share the gospel together.